Hello and welcome to this special report from OTT Wrestling. I am your host, Angus McAnally, and joining me, the NLW champ, the snake, Sammy D. Sammy, oh, good to see you. Pleasure to speak to you. Um, you have an exceptionally high profile fight coming up at the stadium against Omari. Before we talk about you and your accomplishments, let's talk a little bit about Omari, who has been on the run of his life, the form he is in is second to none. He has been a fighting champion defending that belt left, right and centre over the last eight or nine months. You must respect the guy. I go, I mean, he's a fighting champion, but did he fight for the championship? In my eyes, Omari went home, took his ball and went home. He decided to give up wrestling. And Cabrera gets onto him and says, hey, come back, we'll give you a world title shot. He was hand-picked. He didn't work for that championship. And to be honest with you, I think he's the most mediocre OTT champion I have ever seen. Okay, that's a, a strong criticism, maybe a harsh one. Uh, there's one thing that's undeniable. For my money, he is the most athletically gifted fighter we've ever seen in an OTT ring. Do you think physically you can match him? I respect Omari's athleticism. I respect what he can do in the ring. But on Paddy's day, on Paddy's weekend, in my hometown, in Dublin, there is no one that will match the snake. Sammy, being OTT champion isn't just about winning that belt in the centre of the ring. It's also about being the top guy. It's about carrying this company on your shoulders. Do you think you have what it takes to be the top guy around here? Let me correct you there, Angle. Omari is the world champion, but he's not the top guy. For the past year, I've been the top guy. I'm the guy front and centre on the posters. I'm the guy carrying these shows. I'm the guy with the merch queue around the corner. I'm the guy people pay to see. And scrap of many, when I win that world championship, it just cements the fact that, that I am the guy to carry this company forward. The snake is going to be the world champion and carry OTT into the new era. Sam, you've talked about the momentum leading into Scrapper Mania, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet because the night before in Wolverhampton, in his hometown, you have to take on former WWE superstar Trent Seven. How much is that playing on your mind? You know, I go, ever since Trent Seven has reappeared in OT, he's been a thorn on my side. And yeah, of course it's on my mind the night before Scrap Mania, I have a fight, a fight in Wolverhampton against Trent Seven. But this is my championship run, this is my season. Trent Seven is going to stop me. I will walk into Wolverhampton, I will run through Trent Seven, and he can fall back in line, and maybe one day can come face me for my world championship. Sammy, you're still a young man, but I want to talk for a minute about legacy. Because apart from this being a big show-stopping match, a big opportunity for you, this is a chance to really cement your legacy, arguably as the greatest Irish wrestler of all time. Because if you're successful and you walk out of there with the OTT Heavyweight Championship, you become the first ever OTT Grand Slam champ. No one has ever achieved that before. Is that a shining prize up on the top of the hill for you? Or is that a pressure and a burden that's weighing you down? I go, that has always been my goal. I've made it very clear. When I beat Omari at Scrapper Mania and I become the first ever OTT Grand Slam champion, I will cement my legacy as the greatest OTT champion of all time. But then the next day is day one. Day one of the new era of OTT, where we don't rely on imports, we don't rely on the Brits, we don't rely on the Yanks, we rely on the Irish talent in this country. The new era of OTT will start after Scrapamania on my shoulders as the OTT world champion. Am I sure I can beat on Mary Scrapamania? Yes. Do I know I can beat him on my own? Yes. I will stand there in the National Stadium, I will drop him on his head and beat him one, two, three, and have, leave no doubt that the snake is on top. Sammy D, potentially a brave new dawn, former tag team champ, former GN champ, current NLW champ, and who knows, at Scrapper Mania, maybe the OTT World Heavyweight Champion. It's gonna be a hell of a fight.